guys welcome back to another video so in today's video i'm going to show you how to use an apple tv third gen or second gen or probably any all of them without a remote um and eventually set it up on your iphone now i've already managed to reset it but basically i'm going to show you how i did that now what you need is a, a computer with either itunes or a macbook new enough that you can use it on finder a micro usb cable and a bluetooth keyboard and if you don't want to use the bluetooth keyboard as your permanent remote then either another remote as you can use as you can teach these to work with any ir remote or an iphone that you can control it with so first thing you want to do unplug your apple tv from hdmi but keep it plugged into power get your laptop with either itunes or the newer updated mac os and finder so either open up itunes or finder get your micro usb cable Plug one end into the back of your Apple TV, right below the HDMI port, which is why you have to unplug that. Then plug the other end into your computer. Then on my MacBook here, as you can see, it says Apple TV. This is the same as how it would look in iTunes. And you just want to click Restore Apple TV. And then click Restore. And next. Agree. Now it will download the Apple TV software. Then it will start to restore the Apple TV and it says here this will take about five minutes. This depends on your internet speed. So then once it says your Apple TV has been restored, you do not need the computer anymore. You can unplug that. And then you also want to unplug the power because it will be on this restore screen still. Plug it back in. Plug in your HDMI. So as you can see here, it says use an iPhone or use, uh, use an iOS 7 or later to set up the Apple TV. And the problem with this is eventually you need a remote it just links the Apple TV to your iCloud, that's it, you still need a remote. But you can pair a Bluetooth keyboard, so if I turn this on, this is one for an iPad, and then click connect, it should come up, there, there you go, it's connected in the corner. You can still use a iPhone to set it up as it makes it a bit easier, so as you see I click continue on here, automatic setup, you enter in your iCloud password, so for example if I went through the setup with the iPhone, send data to Apple or whatever. But then the next screen on this, you still need a remote. There's a problem connecting to the network. Well, that's not what I experienced last time. But you see the remote thing, it doesn't work straight away. But the keyboard is still connected. I don't really know why it's done that. So data and privacy. See, when I was setting up with the iPhone, that's the screen I got stuck on because there was no remote on the iPhone yet. So I couldn't click anything on there. There you go, now it works and I can use the keyboard, the remote. And if you want to just use a Bluetooth keyboard, then you can just continue to do that, but you can go to settings, go into general, go into remotes, pair Apple remote, remote app, and you can use that. You can obviously download that on your iPhone or on your iPhone. I think you can see now that it's set up and on the internet on your iPhone, you can use that to control it now. So iOS, remote. you click it, but now it says to enter the code that's on your phone, which is why you obviously still need a remote to do this, which is why it's a bit irritating. But obviously I can do that. So now the iPhone is a remote, but what I'm going to do, because I've done this before, but then I got rid of the iPhone that I had and the keyboard wouldn't connect. I found this old CD player remote. I don't know if it works, but you can click learn remote and we'll click start and it goes up. So that didn't work, but I have so many of these LED remotes laying around. I wonder if I can just set one of these up. So up. <laughs> So you have to hold it for the whole time. So I'm going to do like up, down, left, right. Have that as select and how that one as menu. Oh, that's a bit confusing. Right, up, down, left, right, select, and then menu successfully learn the remote um i can just type it in on the keyboard actually so yeah now this led remote is now a remote for this apple tv that is menu menu and yeah it actually works not very well but it works and this is just obviously a fail safe in case i ever sell this or that remote stops working so yeah, thank you guys for watching, hope you guys found it helpful, and I hope you guys come back for another video. Bye.